panelists today uh, highlighted uh, three main priorities. Uh, so the first one is just to uh, engage young people, to make sure that they're at the table when decisions about them uh, are being made, when the pr programs to reach them are being designed. Uh, they uh, should be contributing to the debate. Uh, uh, that's very, very important. Uh, the second uh, priority is just to make sure uh, that the services that are provided throughout the, the healthcare system uh, and the education system uh, on this topic are youth friendly. Uh, that includes uh, having confidentiality uh, for young people coming into health centers, making sure that the right uh, types of uh, contraceptives uh, and advice is available for them uh, from health workers, uh, as well as uh, uh, any contraceptives that they may need are provided uh, either free of charge or at a very low cost so, so they can uh, access them. Um, uh, on the education side, uh, our panelists highlighted how important it is to integrate sexual um, and health education in, in the education system uh, in the right way. Uh, that that's where uh, people can, uh, young people can get a lot of information. And the third priority that was highlighted was uh, the importance of partnerships. Um, governments obviously have a big role to play, uh, they, they drive the boat, but uh, civil society organizations are big uh, players, they have a huge role in some countries, uh, particularly in uh, service delivery to certain populations. And uh, at the global level, uh, donors uh, have a role to play in just uh, have gathering the necessary resources, uh, particularly funding, uh, to support this important uh, area.